Hey everybody, John here with Cruiser Customizing. Today we'll be installing a breakaway cruise control on our Harley Davidson Road King. The Breakaway is a mechanical cruise control system. These things easily adapt to most bikes and they come in multiple variations. This particular model that we'll be installing today will actually work on all your Harley Davidsons from 1996 through current with the throttle style cable. We're hooking up this Road King with lots of accessories that are really going to help us on some long road trips. We've got that big bat wing fairing we had installed up front. And since we'll be able to spend more time in the saddle with that extra wind protection, we want to make sure our wrist doesn't get cramped up. So this breakaway is definitely going to help with that. Now to get this thing installed on the bike, it's relatively simple. And honestly, they include everything you need right in the kit, aside from a couple wrenches that you've probably got laying around the garage. They actually include all of the Allen wrenches you need to make the fine adjustments on this breakaway once it's installed. And one of the awesome features of this particular type of cruise control is the fact that if you tap the brakes on the front, it is going to disengage that cruise control, as well as any forward or reverse motion on that throttle tube is gonna do the same thing and disengage the cruise control so you can safely come to a stop if you need to. So emergency situations are a lot less hazardous with this type of cruise control. The installation on this thing, like I said, extremely easy. We'll walk you through the steps as we go. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do today is remove the tension off of those throttle cables. After we get that done, we can take the cap off of the throttle housing, allowing us access to those cables on the inside. Once we're on the inside of that throttle housing, we can pop the cables out of that throttle tube and slide the throttle tube off. We'll go ahead and place that to the side because we'll be reusing that when we reinstall. The next thing we're going to want to do is pull that brake pin. There's a C-clip right on the bottom of it. We'll remove that so we can slide the brake pin out and replace it with the one that comes in the kit. The next step in installation is sliding the breakaway onto the handlebar. We're actually going to take the back portion here and it's going to slide right into the throttle housing where the throttle cables were. We can hook those cables up, then we can remove this cover right off of the front of the breakaway and there's actually pins right on the inside. That's where we're going to connect our throttle tube. That throttle tube will slide into that location. We'll put an O-ring in place to take up any tension there to make sure the throttle tube doesn't move around. And then last but not least, we'll rotate this up into position and we can land this on that new bolt that we put into the brake pin as well as adjust that bumper that catches against the front brake lever. So let's go ahead and get these knocked out.
With the breakaway installed on the bike, you're just gonna have to do some fine adjustments. We've already sealed everything back up here, put the nuts and bolts back where they came from, and we're just gonna mess with the fine tuning. Before you go out and hit the road on your next road trip, make sure you give this thing a test. Make sure it disengages properly. It's super easy to do, and there's some adjustments you can make on these humps that actually make that brake lever disengage your breakaway system. So definitely test those out in the garage before you head out on the road. You're also gonna wanna test out the back portion of the switch where it engages, and then it's also got a disengage switch right there for your thumb. Test both of those thoroughly and make sure they're operating properly. After you have that done, it's time to roll. We're gonna take this thing out on the highway and give it a nice long test. No longer on those long road trips are you gonna wreck that wrist trying to hold that throttle back for long stretches at a time. You'll be able to give that right wrist a bit of a break on those long stretches of highway and it's gonna make those long trips a whole lot more enjoyable. If you do happen to have any questions about the breakaway, please let us know in the comment section below. We've got our subscribe button down in the lower right hand corner. If you click on that one, you're not gonna miss out on any of the upcoming videos. If you wanna get one of these bad boys on the way, just click that info button in the top right hand corner and we'll get one shipped out to you as quickly as possible. Till next time everybody, I'm John with Cruiser Customizing. Please ride safe.